Okay, this one's the second one on uh, schematic diagrams. And you can see we've made a couple of changes here. We still have our switch there on the left. We've added a thermostat. And the load is now a gas valve. So, if the switch is closed, now this would probably be a system switch that simply brings power to this thing. And here again, we're still 120 volts. And if the system switch closes, the gas valve is not going to energize. The thermostat, which is a heating thermostat, that means it opens on rise. If we've got the bar on that thermostat above the ball, that means it closes on drop in temperature and opens on rise in temperature. So it's a heating thermostat. So this is a very simple diagram that would start a gas furnace by starting the gas valve. Okay, with the switch open, both switches open, you can see the power goes to the system switch on the left and it goes through the gas valve, but it stops at the thermostat. So both of those switches have to be closed. This is what's called a series switching. Usually, not always, usually switches, control switches, are wired in series. And I'm, I'll do another one that shows wired in parallel, and you can tell the difference. So, if I close the system switch, okay, in this next one, we show, we show we have closed the system switch. Now, the gas valve has still not been energized because the thermostat isn't closed. So, what's going to actually happen to, have to happen here? is the temperature in the structure is going to have to drop. When the temperature drops, then the thermostat will pass power to the gas valve. Okay, in this case, all the switches are closed and the gas valve is energized. So, if the switches, the manual switch is open, it won't run. If the thermostat is open, it won't run. So all these switches have to be closed, and if I was sequencing this diagram, I would say power passes through the normally open switch, because it is normally open when everything's shut off, the switch is open. Passing through the heating thermostat to energize the gas valve. So that's with two switches in series. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a limit switch. Because we have to have something to say to this thing out if it overheats. And that'll be in the next uh, video.